Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the hold and release interaction. When I hold the video, the video will pause and while I'm holding, I can drag to select reaction. When I let go from one of the reaction area, the following reaction will pop up in the center. Great, let's get started. I've already imported the design from Figma and you can see that I've already imported the video uh, from this media toolbox and you just clicked video here. And to play this video, you can go to the right panel and just play automatically and you can also select looping. So you can see the video is playing now. But for now, I'm going to turn it off so that it doesn't get all my energy. So great. And you can see that I've already added some basic interaction to reduce some time. But don't, don't worry, I'm going to uh, explain a little bit what I've already added. So here, when I start, uh, I made the scale to be 0% so that we can later make an interaction. And mainly I've made touchdown and touch up trigger so that this can play back when I touch down, which means I'm touching the screen. And when I touch up, which means again, when I remove my uh, finger from my screen, that it's going to play again. So pause and play. Simple as that. So for example, if I make it play, and then when I touch the screen, you can see that now it's paused. And when I let go, it's continue uh, the video. So again, pause and play. So I'm going to turn it off again the computer power <laughs> and coming back here so not only the playing i've made this opacity of the video frame like text on um, like buttons and live to be disappeared and to make the scale of this video to be smaller and move to this y position and then made all this icon in the bottom below just make it uh, visible now because it's opacity zero in the beginning and I made a touch up um, with the rest of the interaction to be resetted when I remove my finger from the video. So that's a simple basic interaction for the video. And now the fun part is how do we make the interaction when I'm holding and dragging between these emojis. First, I'm gonna add the response called assign and assigned this variable which I already created with the number with the empty value I'm gonna add a formula called with the dollar sign touch x so what is this so if you go to the protopile website you can see the predefined variable which means um, protopile provides some of the things that you don't have to do it manually they provide it um, so in this case, touch X means they're going to print the X position where you're touching. So if you click this box mark, you can see that when I touch somewhere, it shows which X position I'm clicking at. But the thing is, when I drag, you don't see that the touch is following. So the trick here is just check the repeat, make it infinite, and now you can see that it's printing all the touch continuously. Yay! So this is how we start. So to, how do we use this variable to make the touch interaction here? So I'm going to add the trigger called range. And I'm going to use this variable between this area, which is this like button. So currently you don't see it, but you, this is actually this like button. So you can either already just check this very left corner to the very right corner from here, which is 43 and 93. But I can also just get this 68 and do the calculation here to minus 25, which is the half of the size. Currently it's 50, so I just minus, 50, minus 25, but I can also do again here 68 plus 
25. So, which is actually exactly the same um, value, 43 to 93. If I check manually here, 43 and 93, which is the area between here. I mean, you can also do something else, but I just simply uh, set the beginning and the end of the, the icon. So, now the range is set. So, between this area, I want the scale of this like icon to be 140%. So that's why I use the factor, but you can also use the size to be exact. So when I do this, when I come to this area, now the, the icon is scaling up. And now I'm also going to make this move by minus 40 Y position, which is, yay, making the movement to minus 40 um, Y. But as you can see, that it's just keep going up 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 to avoid that i'm gonna just make another range when it's outside of this area which is 43 to 93 of this variable 43 93 so this means when i'm out of this area i'm gonna have opposite so it's gonna go back to 100 percent and move Two, just to be exact, where to come back, 698. Yes, 698 exactly where it was before. So when I touch down, now when I go to this area and remove myself, it's gonna go down. So that's how you make this simple interaction. Great, so when, not only that, now when I remove this uh, my touch on this area I want this to pop up in the middle right so to do that I'm just gonna go to the touch up area and add a condition for this area again so this is actually same as the range but with a little bit of different um, way so for example it's the same range for 43 to 93 in this area to do that, I need to make um, the touch area to be 43 and add another condition for touch 93 to be below. So, which means it's bigger than 43 and lower than the 93, the same range as this one. And when I touch up, so when I remove my finger in this area, I want this, this one, the like up, uh, like, like copy, to be scaled to again 140% in 0 0.6 seconds. So when I do it, and I when I let go, my touch here. Oh, okay, almost forgotten. I need to always make sure to select the right layer. So when I do this, the scale should be expanded with the light copy, which is this. Yay! So um, when I touch up in other area, nothing is happening. It only happens only in this area. But how can we make this go away? We can add like a simple animation. Um, so if you drag this panel a little bit, I can just copy and paste and move the starting point, which is now, I mean, you can also write it here, but you can also just drag it from the timeline. But what I just did was, firstly, it scaled to 140, and after this scale is done, I'm gonna just make it to go back to 100%, and also the same duration. So when I let go in the like area, now, it's going oh not 100 percent. it has to go away so it has to be zero so both zero so when i do this when i let it go now it appears and moves away yay so this is simply how you make the interaction for hold and drag and you just have to repeat everything and you're gonna see in the full version that when you click like 
or clap, wow, and let it go in that area, the emojis that you select should be popped in the middle. So I hope you can have fun and try it out uh, on your own with the next clap and wow. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it, please press like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. See you soon!